Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt is, ITV News understands, rapidly striding to probably his most significant speech on the NHS since he took office. On Thursday, it's believed he will outline major reforms to GP practice and especially to out-of-hours care to put right faults he thinks have led to the current crisis in emergency departments. We understand the new proposals will try to revive the idea of the family GP. Every patient should have a named individual, usually a GP, responsible for their care 24-7. Red tape hindering GPs will be reduced and there'll be a new chief inspector of general practice to ensure the focus is on patient care. He needs to think about the level of investment in primary care rather than more structural reform. The last three years we've had a lot of structural reform in the health service and it's really not led to the improvements yet that we want to see. Reform for GPs is certainly on the way, but it's not yet clear how more personal care for patients and especially out of our services will be delivered. Some GPs welcome the idea of being more in control. We certainly don't plan to go back to GPs being responsible 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for providing personal care. I think what people would consider is if we were actually managing the out of hours and if that were properly resourced, if we had sufficient money. The opposition says reforming GP practice is just a way of deflecting attention from the government's own failings that have led to the crisis in A&E. They inherited an NHS where 98% of people were being seen within four hours in A&E. And on David Cameron's watch, things have got substantially worse. So it's not good enough for them to constantly point the finger elsewhere. Whoever's right about the causes of the A&E crisis, there's no doubting its reality. Or Jeremy Hunt's wish to reform out-of-hours care. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News.